although the backdrop of this story is, is Russia, it's not a piece about Russia in the sense that this could have happened anywhere. I was uh, just on Facebook, actually, and a news item, uh, clickbait, came into my news feed. The first thing I saw was the image of these two um, teenagers and the words Romeo and Juliet. Um, and so, it, you know, it drew me in and I clicked. And then he got on WhatsApp and told me about <laughs> it and was like, oh, you have to check this out. Um, it's an amazing story. Um, so then, yeah, we, we had a couple of days of kind of going down an internet rabbit hole on it. It's a, a kind of semi-documentary or reconstructed um, storytelling opera um, about what happened to them, about um, our response via social media, um, and about the kind of associated issues of, of what, how we live our lives on social media, how brutal that can be sometimes, and um, what it means to make an opera about that, about a true life tragic story. We saw what was available on the internet and then we went and, and dug a little bit deeper with people who were involved in the story. A big experience that I had when we went to Russia was that because we'd only ever access the story via the internet and in some ways, although it's a very tragic story, um, it becomes glamorized and sensationalized as it goes viral. And when we got to um, the places where this happened, that just instantly disappeared and it was just a sad, tragic story that should have never happened. A lot of the people that they knew as well were watching this and were telling us about that experience. It felt very unreal to, to the people watching it and, and, and most of them imagined that, you know, they would, you know, see them the next day in school or they'd be suspended for a week and then they'd see them the next Monday and they'd joke about how, um, you know, they'd been suspended. I think the things that we're trying to create for audiences are very immersive experiences that, that deliver text and deliver narrative in many different, using many different media, really, not just the song voice, so to speak. So a lot of projected text, a lot of pre-recorded text, a lot of spoken material. I, we didn't want to build the text in a, in a traditional way of having characters and, and it, so, so this text is, is coming um, directly, I mean it's been filtered, um, you know, we, we've done editing and we've, we've, you know, changed things here and there, but, but it really the text is coming from our sources. And the piece is about voyeurism because we're getting um, all of these different opinions and filters um, through these sources and, and we are in some senses, part of that too. So it feels like the way the internet responded to this piece, the way people responded to it, the way information was transmitted, like during the story and then afterwards, is somehow, although it's a human story, is all about the internet.